Hello, hello students. I am going to you uh, explain the pulse width modulation assignment today. So before that, we will discuss what is pulse width modulation. Pulse width modulation is signal is a method for generating an analog signal using a digital source. Uh, when a PWM uh, signal consists of two components that define its behavior, that is a duty cycle and a frequency. Now, what is duty cycle? The duty cycle describes the amount of time the signal is in a high or on state as a percentage of the total time of it takes to complete one cycle. Then frequency, the frequency determines how fast the PWM completes a cycle that is uh, 1000 hertz. Uh, for 1000 hertz it would be uh, 1000 cycles per second and therefore how fast it uh, switches between high and low states. So by cycling a digital signal off and on at a fast enough rate and with a, cer a certain duty cycle the output will appear to behave like a constant voltage analog signal when providing power to devices. Now applications of PWM. So there are different applications that is servos, telecommunications, uh, power delivery, voltage regulation and audio effects and amplification. So you can see that this is the diagram of pulse width, width modulation signal. For 0% duty cycle you can see that uh, the signal is low. For 25% duty cycle you, you can see that only 25% uh, of the total period, this period the signal is high. Here uh, again you can see that only for 50% uh, of the period the uh, signal is high. Again here for 75% of the period the signal is high. And then for here you can see that for 100% of the period the signal is high. So that they are having the, that 0%, 25%, 50%, 75% and 100% duty cycle. Now after that uh, after uh, starting the program you can see that uh, we are going to access this SFS path for PWM in which we have to deal with these four uh, files that is period, PUT, run and polarity. So in period we have to write the period value in nanosecond. Then uh, in duty file we have to write the duty value in nanosecond for PWM signal. And for run, uh, through run file we can uh, disable and enable the PWM signal. And in polarity uh, it will have the 1 and 0 value depends upon the signal when, when it is high or low. So this is about your pulse width modulation. So after that we will uh, discuss the steps. So for writing the python program to generate square wave of programmable frequency using PWM, uh, first we have to load the drivers, then after that we have to import libraries, then we have to assign CSFS path for PWM with variables, then we have to define the PWM period and duty, then we have to define function to write PWM period value, and then we have to define function to write PWM duty cycle, then we have to define function to enable disable PWM on given pin number and finally we have to call these functions through main program ok so we will start our program but before that we will uh, see the installation of di uh, drivers so uh, type echo on your beagle bone terminal you have to type echo then provide uh, the driver name am 33xx underscore pwm this is the name of uh, pwm driver and then you have to use uh, write on sys uh, slash sys slash devices slash bone underscore kip mgr dot 9 then slots so on this path you have to write uh, you have to install your uh, pwm driver again next uh, command you have to uh, run that is phone underscore pwm then underscore p8 underscore 13 so we are going to use p8 underscore 13 pin here and there again we will use this slash devices slash bone k underscore kpmgr dot 9 slash slots so already i i installed this driver so that it is giving uh, the right error that is file exist but you can install it on your machine or uh, on your beagle bone black so after that we will go for program so i will use pwmn dot py so in this program first we will uh, write we will type the shebang character for the binary path of python then after that we will import the standard libraries so we have to import first this then os and then time library so after that we have to define define the sysfs path for pwm so we will write we will write the uh, a variable name that is pwm sysfs pwm sysfs is equal to 
in double quote the path is like this slash sys slash devices slash ocp dot three slash ewm underscore test underscore p eight underscore thirteen dot fifteen so this is the path for pwm csfs path for pwm through this path we have to write our values and after that we have to define our period pwm period and duty value so here we will use pwm period variable so uh, it will be uh, will initialize with near about 20 lakh Okay, 20 lakh will use here 20 lakh nanosecond. So this is in this is in nanosecond. That is nanosecond. This value is in nanosecond. Then after that we have to define the PWM duty. We will use PWM duty variable here, and here we will use 10 lakh nanosecond. That is 50 percent of this. This is in again nanosecond. So we'll uh, this way we have to define our period value and duty value because that are important for PWM uh, square wave or PWM signal. After that we will define function to write period value PWM period value. So we'll define PWM write period in bracket we will use val parameter to pass the value of that period and after that we will use fo is equal to open we will open the path so we are having pwm sys fs then after that we will use plus and double quote will provide the name of file which we have to open that is period and in which mode we have to open that is in write mode we have to open so we will provide w here and after that with the, with the help of fo object we will write it will call write and will write the val to the val variable will write the period value and after that we will close this file then next we will define function to write where uh, we to write duty value so here we will define the pwm write duty function which will have the val parameter again and which will have the same definition but just we have to change the name of file here so i will just copy and paste here so i will change the name of file here that is we have to deal with duty file here and other things are same here now the next function we have to define define function to enable or disable pwm okay so here we will define uh, we'll define a function that is uh, for enable and disable PWM. We'll write def PWM start, and this will not have any uh, parameter. So here again, we'll use the same definition. We'll copy it. We'll paste it here, and here we'll replace this duty with run because we are we have to deal with here a run file then here we have to use in place of this in inside this uh, a write function call we have to pass one value because we have to enable the pwm and we have to start the generation of square wave here so here we have finished our function definition for pwm period pwm duty and pwm uh, run okay so now we'll go for main program so here we will print the statement that is programmable square wave on oscilloscope ok and then after that we will start we will type the wave is generated on 
4 ok so here we will call our the function that is p w m right period this we have to call first because we have to uh, pass the uh, p w m period value then after that we will call p w m right duty function inside this again we will uh, pass the value p w m duty so here we are uh, passing the values uh, by using by doing the type casting because we have to write these values uh, as a string so that we are using here uh, we are using type casting we are converting these types into str that is in string then after that we will we will uh, call the pwm start function and then for adjusting for doing the pwm that is pulse width modulation alternatively we have to decrease and increase the width our duty cycle of our square wave. So, we will use iterations. So, we will use 4 i in range in bracket 0, 9. We will use, we will try this for 9 iteration only. So, we have used 9 iterations here, and after that, uh, we will decrement the PWM duty value. So, we will decrement this by 2000 nanosecond. Then, after that, we will call PWM right duty function and will pass the pwm duty variable value here and we will type cast it here the next will again will use sleep time of 3 second and after 3 seconds we will again increment the duty cycle by 2000 and after incrementing it we will call pwm duty or pwm right duty function and uh, to set the pwm uh, duty value and pass the pwm duty variable as a string and then after this again use time dot slip of 3 second so and finally use exit so this way you can write the program for PWM for uh, creating uh, for generating the square wave ok so here one, uh, one mistake is there that is we have to use two for loops so again use second for loop here that is for i in range 0 comma 9 for other PWM duty increment so that is one of the mistake here that we have uh, uh, missed here okay so okay so one of the change is here that is less okay so so, so here we will change this 2000 with 120000 we will decrement the pwm duty with 120000 and uh, again we will increment it by 120000 so now we will run this program escape colon wq so before that now we will run this program see this is oscilloscope digital oscilloscope or also called as CRO so we will see the output on this uh, you can see that the duty cycle is incrementing oh. first of all it is decrementing now it is incrementing now it is decrementing first of all it was decrementing first of all it was decrementing now ok so this way you can write the program 